Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to HubSpot CRM tutorial for beginners, right? So if you have no idea about HubSpot or how it's work and how you can use for CRM and why is one of the top CRM softwares for you or websites for you, right? Then in this video is perfect for you because I'm going to explain each and every aspect of HubSpot. So first of all, once you're here, and guys, for those who don't know, HubSpot is a software that helps businesses to attract customers, sell to them, and keep them happy. It has many useful features in one place, right? Marketing tool to get people to visit your website and, you know, become leads. So you can just go to the here products and you can, you can see here marketing hub for it. Then there's a sales tool to help you sell to those leads. Then there's a customer service, uh, which help you, this tool help you to keep your customers satisfied. So basically, it just covers three aspects of a business, right? It is easy to use. Even if you're not very tech savvy, you can customize. Of course, we are going to look into this and so no worries. It has create analytic to help you see what's wrong or what's working. It connect with many other popular business apps. It helps your team to work together better. It automate repetitive tasks to save time, right? So let's get started. First of all, you have to just go and click on get free CRM. Once you click here, it will ask your email address. So just enter your email address, verify, right? And uh, I will advise you that go with your email address. But this, uh, this is just a simple tutorial for me. So I will just go use my Google account because it's just really convenient and this is fast, right? Now here it will ask you, what's your industry? So I work in marketing and advertising. You can just go and choose whichever you know industry you're working on. And by the way, if you don't find your industry, you can just always go and click on search all industry. You can search your industry, right? And let's say I'll just go and click on again here. And let's say my, it's marketing. So I'll just write here, marketing and advertising. Just go and click on next. What's your role at the company? I am the manager, right? I'm not the owner. You can select if you're owner. And this is a company name. So I'll just write here, company name, right? And again, just go and click on next. What's your company size? It's around six to 10, it's very small. And here it's a company website name, right? So I will just write here company website name. Once you're okay with it, now just go and click on next. We care about your data, where should be hosted? So if you're living in the United States, just go for it. If you're living in Europe, then just go for it, right? I will just go and click on select Europe and click on create account. Right now, it will just take a few seconds to make an account and you have to just wait till the, and you're gonna watch these waves by the way. Now again, it will ask you what bring you here today. So for my business, I just want to generate more leads and then by using those leads, I can sell my products to them, right? I can do the marketing on the specific customers. So here, I will just go and select grow and manage sales pipeline. Uh, if you're not sure about it, you can just select this one. Now go and click on next. Now here it will ask you to connect your Google for a head start, right? Now what will happen, we will add a few of your contacts and link your account. So let's say I will just go and click on, on my account here, click on continue. You can add your own a different account, so it's fine. Uh, so I will just go and click on continue and let's say I will just give the access of my email here and again click on continue right so basically hubspot want all this access i just want to do it later now here by the way you can enter the first name and the last name so this is just an information you can easily remove this contact later so let's say i will just fill up in just in few seconds by the way you can just go and select add my contacts later so i will just go and click on next now here uh, they will ask your email address so make super admin now here i will just go and click on finish setup again you have to just wait for a few seconds here and once you're here just go and click on next right your customer data live here so as as you saw that i added three customer data which is live right now and yes i want to close this tool right now and as you can see here this information is here right so this is just to collect the leads so whatever leads you will get collected it will show up here so now, as you can see here, your sales tool progress. Now here you can just left side, you will see the marketing guide, sales guide and customer service guide, right? So you can just track your customers, track your data here. Now on the left side, you will see your workspace here, which is uh, the first one, the prospecting. 
and we'll just go and click on the help desk here and i will show my help desk and i can just upgrade it to the professional or i can just buy their premium subscription now this is crm so crm uh, in the crm you will see a lot of options for example if i just go and see the contact so all the leads which i have connected but will, will be shown here right and this is the company so all these companies data will be shown here again right and again uh, this is a deal section so whichever deal you have made will be shown here same goes for the ticket and the list and inbox here for example if i just go on crm click on it now here i'll just go to the inbox right and in the inbox section it will show me each and everything all the email which i have received from the, my team as well as from my customers and the leads right now this is a marketing section so you can just create a campaign for example of course i can use this to advertise here for example i want to talk to sales so i can schedule a meeting get a call and i can send an email as well as i can chat with them right so i, I will just go and send a sales i mean send an email here so i can just write here that i'm facing issue and what's a report about how much sales of this quarter this month or this week right whatever it is and you can sell it send it and you will get a reply back from your sales team and you will just see all the data same goes for the email and social you can just create a campaign and you can also create ads here right so uh, you need to buy the subscription by the way right and let me just go and click on car it and here connect ad account to the hub spot so by the way you can connect your if i just go here of course the three uh, you know big companies the facebook ads or instagram ads and google ads and linkedin ads these are the popular so you can connect here right now we don't have any option for the x twitter so if you want to run the ads on the twitter x then of course you have to go solo on twitter now once you're here for example i want to add my google ads here account i'll just go and into go sign into my google ads i will select my account and automatically it will connect it connect it same goes for the linkedin if you want to sign up with the for the linkedin just go and select here of course there's some benefits if you do this so this is a benefits from hubspot by the way and this is for the facebook you can sign it into the facebook or create a facebook ad account right now and once you're here you will be able to get all the leads for example if you're running a uh, ad over facebook you will get the leads and all the leads will be stored on your hubspot now once you are into the hubspot you can see all the leads here you can use that leads to sell your products or whatever it is right and uh, hubspot doesn't really collect your uh, leads it just do all the crm work and if you're watching this video then of course you know what it is right and this is a content for example this is for the uh, website pages landing pages and everything so you can also manage it from the hubspot right and why this is for for example most of this ticket booking right restaurant they just get the data from this landing page as well as from the website pages so whenever customer go and enter their email address you will see all these uh, data collected from here right and this is a commerce you can see the commerce how much sales you have to earn on your store your shopify store or whether whatever store it is online e-commerce and the payments it will show you how much revenue you have there the invoice and everything so all the data will be automatically get collected you just need to connect it now this is for the automations so automation is really you know important as well as very easy to understand this so here you can just automate it if you want to do i mean there is some work which is completely repetitive and you want to automate it for example you get a call from your manager i mean email from your manager and uh, you can just ask your automation to make a summary and just send it into a different email or your notion or something like that or directly you can send it to your employee and just get work done right so automation can be in a various type this is just like a zapier or make.com right so this is how it is and the reporting all the report will be shown here if i just go to the dashboard so all the data will be shown here in the dashboard right and this can only happen if you just go and buy the subscription of that same way this is the data managed so whatever data you have so data security is available here all the data set the data quality will be shown here in the library section if you have uploaded some of the documents or meeting or snippets or pictures they'll be stored here right so this is i've explained each and everything right now and uh, if you are pretty much going to buy a plan so let me explain you here so uh, if you just go and click on upgrade you will get all these free tools i mean these features of course and now here you can just go and click on buy now to get a buy now here it is a uh, 15 dollars per month you can just go and increase on it right great for anyone who need edit access in the hubspot right so it's depend upon how much or big your team it is
right guys so now this is very interesting because hubspot help you in every part of your uh, work and you can of course uh, hubspot is used by the major companies the big companies or the big startups or the uh, most probably in the most startups too uh, who they just want to you know organize it in everything so you can invite your team you can work with your team together and at a single hubspot account there's a lot of people of your team can work here so for now this is just a beginner video so i hope you understood each and every part if you don't know then of course you can comment down and i will make a separate video or i will reply to that comment to make it more easy for you guys i hope you found this video very useful subscribe